Now this is a story about a girl who chose to obey and do the will of the Lord. And now even though it took some wrong turns and some upside down moments, the spear within her kept her moving her forward. Now I don't know much about poetry, but I hope you stick around to know more about my story. Oh yeah. God bless. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jesus is rocks. Jesus is rocks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stick around and know more about my story. Oh yeah. God bless, love you. Keep on smiling, stay positive. Jesus loves you, so do I. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Saturday and it's almost the afternoon. I didn't quite um, film a little while ago. Oh my gosh. Just give me one these days. So I'm just tired. So, but anyway. Um, I'm editing. Um, I already film edit one video. Well, a combination of two videos into one. And now I'm working on yesterday's vlog. Um, let's see. Anything new currently? No, not at the moment. Um, you'll be seeing our guest that's coming today, and yes, she'll be here soon. Can't wait to have her. Um, yes, I'm so excited for her to come over. Um, you'll see her, okay? You will see her. I will try to vlog her at least today. I'm not sure about the rest of the week, but I will try to vlog her as much as I can. Just on here, I'm not going to post it anywhere else, um, since I have a smaller audience here. I'm not going to post it on any of my other socials, but it seems to be colder. It's weird. The weather's been so wackadoodle. Um, like yesterday was pretty warm. Today is somewhat chilly. I'm sorry, I'm just caught. I'm in the middle of editing, so you get to see me edit. <laughs> Kind of. Alright, let's see. That one needs to be erased. Today is colder, so I'm wearing warmer clothes. Alright. That, that, that. Oh, Alright. It's hard to come up with titles, but I came up with one. You want to see what I'm doing because instead of just watching me do whatever, I'll show you guys what I do. Okay, let's see if I can f focus here. Can you guys see this? Hopefully you can see it. Um, here we go. Alright, I already put my intro, so I just need this, which I've already entitled. And then it's here, just add it like so. And then I need to go through my pictures and then the odd stuff. Okay, I need to go see what's in order. It's this one. Showing you guys how crappy my bed is. <laughs> um, okay, um, let's see. Go to the bottom again. I think it's this one, but I'm not sure if I listen to it. Nope. Must be this one then. Yes, it's that one, and then the other one that I just previously clicked on. Uh, 
that. Okay, now let's see. Oh, this one. Okay, add that. Now my outro. Oops, I clicked on that. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm an expert at this, but no, sometimes I still get things messed up. Anyway, outro. There we go. Now we're just going to export that into my files. And there we go. And then we wait. So. That is oof, really close up there. There we go. So that's how I do my videos. Sometimes they're lickety split, other times it can be confusing. So now we'll wait on that. So guess what time of the vlog it is? Everybody's favorite time. Apple time. So Alright, Joseph's Silver Cup, chapter 44 of Genesis. When his brothers were ready to leave, Joseph gave these instructions to his palace manager, fill each of their sacks with as much grain as they can carry, and put each man's money back into his sack. Then put my personal silver cup at the top of the youngest brother's sack, aka Benjamin along with the money for his grain. So the manager did as Joseph instructed him. The brothers were up at dawn and were set on their journey with their loaded donkeys. But when they had gone only a short distance and were barely out of the city, Joseph said to his palace manager, chase after them and stop them. When you catch up with them, ask them, why have you repaid my kindness with such evil? Why have you stolen my master's silver cup, which he uses to predict the future? What a wicked thing you have done. He's testing his brothers. <laughs> when the palace manager caught up with the men, he spoke to them as he had been instructed. What are you talking about? The brothers responded. We are, we are your servants and would never do such a thing. Didn't we to return the money we found in our sacks? We brought it back all the way from the land of Canaan. Why would we steal silver or gold from your master's house? If you find his cup with any of us, let that man die. And all the rest of us, my lord, will be your slaves. That's fair, the man replied, but only the one who stole the cup will be my slave. The rest of you may go free. They all quickly took their sacks from the backs of their donkeys and opened them. The palace manager searched the brother's sack from the oldest to the youngest, and the cup was found in Benjamin's sack. When the brothers saw this, they tore their clothing in despair. Then they loaded their donkeys again and returned to the city. Joseph was still in his palace where Judah, <clears throat> when Judah and his brothers arrived, and they fell to the ground before him. What have you done, Joseph demanded. Don't you know that a man like me can predict the future? Because of Jesus. I mean, God gets, sends him the um, gifting of knowing what the future holds. By the way, he's not a fortune teller or anything like that. Judah answered, Oh my Lord, what can we do say to you? How can we explain this? How can we prove our innocence? God is punishing us for our sins. My Lord, we have all returned to be your slaves. All of us, not just our brother who had your cup in his sack. No, Joseph said, I would never do such a thing. Only the man who stole the cup will be my slave. The rest of you may go back to your father in peace. Judah speaks up for his brother, for his brothers. Then Judah stepped forward and said, Please, my lord, let your servants say just one word to you. Please do not be angry with me, even though you are as powerful as Pharaoh himself. My lord, previously you asked us, your servants, do you have a father or brother? And we responded, Yes, my lord, we have my father is an old man. His youngest son is a child of his old, of his old age. His father, his full brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother's children. And his father loves him very much. And you said to us, "Bring him here, so we can see him with my own eyes." But he, we said to you, my lord, the boy cannot leave his father, for his father would die. But he told us, unless your youngest brother comes with you, you will never see my face again. So we returned to your father, our father, and so we returned to your servant, our father, and told him what you have said. Later, 
when he said, go back again and buy us more food, we replied, we can't go unless you let our youngest brother go with us. We'll never get to see the man's face unless our youngest brother is with us. Then my father said to us, as you know, my wife had two sons, and one of them went away and never returned. Doubtless he was torn to pieces by some wild animal. I have never seen his face, seen him since. Now if you take his brother away from me and any harm comes to him, you will send this grieving white-haired man to his grave. And now, my lord, I cannot go back to my father without the boy. Our father's life is bound by the boy's life. If he sees that the boy is not with us, our father will die. We, your servants, will indeed be responsible for sending that grieving white-haired man to his grave. My lord, I guarantee my father that I would take care of the boy. I told him if, if I don't bring him back to you, I will bear the blame forever. A sidebar called Change Life. When Judah was younger, he showed up, showed no regard for his brother Joseph or his father Jacob. First, he convinced his brothers to sell Joseph as a slave. Second, he joined his brothers in lying to his father about Joseph's outcome. But what a change had taken place in Judah. The man who sold one favorable brother into slavery now offered to become a slave himself to save another favorable little brother. What a evidence of your changed life. Would your family members agree? So please, my lord, let me stay here as a slave instead of the boy, and let the boy return with his brothers. For how can I return to my father if the boy is not with me? I sh couldn't bear to see the anguish this would cause my father. So that is chapter 44. We'll get into chapter 45 next time, which will be next week sometime. So now, it's chicken soup time. Randomly pick one. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to skip that one. This is called Seize the Day. It's more like a poem. Just a moment in this lifetime, just a tragedy had. This is talk about death and dying, by the way. One of those favorite subjects to talk about. Just a moment in this lifetime, just a tragedy ahead, not knowing where which each turn will lead, within seconds we might be dead. Live each day to the fullest, do not stump, stop to wonder why. Do everything your heart desires, and dreams reach for the sky. Surprises at every stop sign, with its share of wrong ways and dead ends. Statistics don't help you with the future, they only tell you where you've been. With so many people among us, there are no certainties, and it all it takes is just one person to reroute history. Reroute history. Don't waste one single moment, how very precious that they are. What seems a long way off is really not that far. Now, I will agree with most of this, but we shouldn't, like, yes, any time we might, split second, we might, our life might be changed or altered or we might, you know, could die at any moment. God could take us out at any time. I will say, do everything your heart desires. Um, we have to be responsible about that. We can't, like you know, go out and party all the time and drink and do all these crazy things that our heart desires, like our heart desires, like we got to be careful of what our heart desires because it could be sinful. So we really do have to reevaluate if that is the way we need, if that's the path. We need to still help, ask God to help us in that situation and see if that was still the right thing to do or not. And if it's not the right thing to do, and isn't the Holy Spirit's tugging on your heart, then no, we shouldn't be t participating in that such behavior at all. I didn't really eat breakfast this morning. Oh yes, thank you Lord for your holy breathing word, your living word. As always, thank you Jesus. Thank you for helping me to get up this morning too. You know, thank you for every little thing that you bless me with. Jesus name. 
I am thankful and grateful for every little thing. I have to remind myself to be grateful for those little moments in life. Um, because those are moments we should really cherish, you know? We thank the Lord that we're breathing, we're alive, we're able to... For the littlest things, like running water and plenty of food in the cabinet and refrigerator and freezer. You know, um, did I say running water? Running water is awesome. Maybe we'll flush a toilet. Have clean enough water to drink. Having the word to read, you know, all those little things I'm just so grateful for. Um, also grateful for everything around me, people in my family, everyone in my life. Be able to share the word with y'all or anyone on my other social media. So that's just something I'm so grateful for. So, yeah. I'm kind of hungry because I didn't really eat breakfast this morning. I had an apple, granola bar, and a yogurt. A very light meal. I wasn't too hungry this morning. So that's like 10 minutes before 12. So I guess I can go ahead and eat. <laughs> I made um, fried noodles yesterday because I had made spaghetti for Ricky last night. So I might just eat some stir fry. I'm going to chicken stir fry I'm gonna do my usual pan up some chicken that's already cooked because if I try to cook chicken I'll give myself food poisoning or something like to that extent or just have burnt chicken so I already like the pre-cooked chicken that way I don't give myself food poisoning or anything like that and then I'm gonna eat some kind of vegetable with it and then I just add it with the noodles and then I add moderate steak seasoning and that gives it so much flavor it's so good it's somewhat healthy but i can't say it's completely healthy because it's pasta but yeah it's better it's really good and i don't have to put any type of sauce or dressing in it so i think i'm gonna go eat that and before our guest gets here i'm so excited y'all to meet okay i'm gonna tell you Obviously, it'll be in the title, but still, you're going to meet her soon, so. Yay. Stay tuned. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. I know. Hi, everybody. It's the evening. We had supper. Our guest is here. Meet Coco. It's Coco Dog. Hey, Coco. Coco. <laughs> Coco. What's he doing? <gasps> Hi, sweet girl. So this is Coco. This is, no, we did not adopt a dog. We're just babysitting, or as I say, puppy sitting for the week. Um, our pastor and their um, wife's dog, they're going on vacation, so we're watching their dog. And since we know how to take care of a Yorkie, we've had a Yorkie in the past, thought of us, right? Right, Coco? I know, oh my goodness, it's our camera. I know. <laughs> She's so cute. She is a little bit smaller than Skylar. Oh, guys, I called her Chi Chi. I called her Chi Chi, and I was like, wait a minute, you're not Chi Chi. <laughs> Skylar was Chi Chi. But she's kind of like a Chi Chi, aren't you? Chi Chi. Coco. Coco. <laughs> she's just been exploring. She's kind of bored. We, She's going potty. She ate dinner with us. We had pot roast tonight, so she had some green beans and meat and carrots. Hey, Coco, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? So tomorrow, since it, we didn't want to leave her by herself, we're going to, um, I'm staying home with her in the morning. Mom has school, so she'll stay in the evening with her. Right? Right, Coco? I know. Oh, so sweet girl. Coco. 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 She's, she's been playing with her toys. That's more than what Skylar would do at this age. She's actually the same age as Skylar. Coco, come here. Come here. Come here, sweet girl. So, yeah, we're going to have her probably until next Saturday for a whole week. So, yay. I know. See, good girl. Bless you. She's got the same mannerisms as Skylar. What are you going to do? you going to scratch your back? Go, go. What are you doing? Of course, she's going to miss her family. But you'll care. We'll take care of you. We love you. Oh, you got your toy. 
to get your toy. To get your toy? Coco. Coco, you got your toy? What's it doing? What's it doing? I know. Come here, Coco. Come here, sweet girl. Coco. So anyway, that is our my surprise, and you guys got to meet Coco. I'm not sure how much I'll film of her because I won't be either be here. Zachary's gonna be taking care of her during the afternoons. Just basically the same routine we've had with Skylar is what we're gonna do with her. So yeah, that's our guest, and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. As always, keep on smiling, stay positive. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. So does Coco. Coco loves you too. I know. She loves you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.